in the part one of this tutorial we have seen how the mouse events works and in the part two now we will learn about the keyboard events here key off key down key press event with by using which we can come to know the key code of the key pressed and using all these we will develop one application where we will uh, print out the or we will output the duration of the key press by the user visit this URL and copy the basics jQuery structure let us paste our code here we will uh, first we will start with a div tag because we want to display the message here id is equal to d1 we will use div it is a blank div tag without any message now come to our jQuery part here we will start with our document document so it is key up we will first start with now let us key up function now let me first put these functions here okay now the whatever code i write in between this will be executed now let us display the uh, id here selector of our sorry this is our selector d1 d1 is the id of the div tag here we will be giving the message now we will say key up event started anything any message you can give let us save this go here now i will slowly i am pressing the up key or f key i am pressing so key up event started you can note that let us uh, okay how to differentiate when the second key is there what you will do we will add a event which this will give this will give us the number of the uh, key number or the ascii code of the key pressed now let us see we are given little space save this let us refresh moment i am pressing o key now the event uh, the key or the key code is o of uh, o character is 79 similar i am pressing w now it's changing now you just see there is one difference here when i am pressing the key the event is not occurring but when i am releasing the key because the event is key up i'll tell you now i have my finger is on k key i am pressing the k key i am holding it but the event is not changing now i'll go to release it you can see it has changed now so when the key is released when the key is up that time this event is occurring now let us see key down event key down i will we'll just change it key up i will change it to down now let us in the message part also use the down so let us save it now refresh this okay now i am w key i am pressing so moment i am pressing the key down event is triggered now uh, we can see that earlier in the key up unless i release it the event was uh, not getting triggered now it is moment i am pressing it it is getting now we'll compare it we'll try that we'll uh, have both the events together let's see what happens key down now i am just copying it pasting it now what you will do key up is again we'll write key up now we'll write key up event started but here we will give d2 another one so let us uh, copy this below that so we will give a line break here fine so this will should make it d2 so our d2 id will display the uh, our key up event and d1 will key down event let us save it let us see how this behaves now i am pressing and i am pressing and releasing e key fine it, it is same time uh, there is no issue now let us now i will press the e key and hold it for some time and then release it now let us see i am holding it now now i am releasing it so you can understand that uh, uh, key up event is uh, acted and uh, is key up event is uh, triggered one once i am releasing the key and key down event is triggered when i am pressing the key our key down event also sends the non-printing keys non-printing keys are our, our escape keys caps lock keys tab shift control alt up down all the arrows keys are all non-printing keys 
print, printing keys are all A, B, C, D, whatever other, other keys are there. Now, by using key down function, we can sense the see, sense the all the non-printing keys also. I am pressing here now. Let me select this. I am pressing the shift key. Press and release. Now I will uh, go for a down arrow key. I will press this, and now I am releasing this. So this is working for non-printing keys. And anyway, it will work for the uh, printing keys. Now I am pressing F and releasing it. So it's working. Now we'll see. Uh, in place of key down, we'll use key press. Key down. We are using key press. There is there is a big difference here. Now let me change this also. So what happens when you use key press? When you use key press, the non-printing keys are not sensed in the in this event trigger. Only printing keys are now sensed. So if you are a game developer, then you want to capture the arrow up down arrow movements and left right arrow movement, then you should not use key press. You should use only the key down. Now let us see. I have changed it to key press. I am saving it. Coming here, refreshing this. I will start with a character key. Let us, I am pressing W, holding it. I released it. Now you see the numbers are different. Why their numbers are different? Because this key is case sensitive. So, uppercase and lowercase it will distinguish. Now, let us say I am going for D key now. D key, D released. So, these are different. Now, I will, I am keeping the caps on. Caps on means all both the uh, uppercase letters. So now let us pr print this. I am printed, press this, release this. So you can see now it is equal because caps lock is on. Now here in this case, what will happen if I will press the shift key? Shift key I am pressing, released. But you see my key press event is not sensed. But key up event is sensed and it has changed. Now if I am, I am pressing the down arrow keys, you see down arrow right arrow left arrow i pressed up arrow i have pressed you can see my key up event is sensing but my key press event is not sensing because this key press event will not sense the non printing characters now using this concept we'll try to go for uh, developing an application best way to learn is develop some applications now whatever we have learned so far key up and key down we'll use this to find out that uh, how long a user is holding the key? I'll press a key. After some one or two seconds of holding it, I'll release it. System will tell me how long or uh, in uh, how long in millisecond terms I, I was pressed the key. So let us try this. This is our code. You you can see the URL. It is available. I have pressed the enter key. Now I am holding and pressing the U key. The key code is also printed as uh, 85. I am still holding it. I have released it. Now it is telling that I have hold it for 7052 milliseconds or 7 nearly 7 seconds. Now let me try one more key. I am now I am pressing and holding the P key. Key code is 80. I am still holding it. Now I have released it. Now it is I have holded it for 4619 milliseconds. So this is how you will come to know. Now let us see how this because I am scrolling down pressing the down arrow. So it is also sensing. Now here is the source code is available here. You can see what we are doing is first taking the time value. Here we are reading the time value and uh, it is the time lapses in since epoch. So it is the time value we are reading and keeping it. It is in the millisecond range. Now this T1 holds the press time or moment it is key is down. Now similarly here T2, T2 holds the when key up, when I am releasing the key, this holds the. Now, difference between T, uh, T2 minus T1 is the time for which we, uh, I was pressing the key. This is all others are part of the messaging stream, message strings only. Finally, the key is the, it is the holding time is difference between these two e events which has occurred. 